guys welcome back i hope you all had a really good week and um, so this week we had a request on instagram uh, and this request is going to be raising the vibration of everyone here and it's going to be what is going to happen the next time you see or meet or maybe communicate with your person what is going to happen next what's the future energy of you and your person when you reignite or, or unite together okay so we've got two decks to pick from I've been drawn to one of my really old decks uh, for those of you lot like fairies this is the mystic fairy tarot uh the woman who drew these has a shop in glastonbury she's absolutely lovely lovely lady um and her artwork is just beautiful so the mystic fairy tarot 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 and then this is the mystical dreams tarot by janet pedalato she's also lovely met her as well so we have a, we're going down a mystic theme today mystic cards mystic love tarot uh, having a mystic theme so deck number one and deck number two think about you and think about your person and as you're thinking about that person and just feel that energy within your heart pushing towards the deck you are most drawn to so as always we work on the strongest mutual energy between you all regardless of your circumstances and situations okay it's so going into all your energies all your people's energy and pulling out that strong energy between you all okay so let's do this deck number one so what is going to happen between you and your person the next time you meet so the first thing that's coming to my attention is we've got a little bit of Fleetwood Mac coming through my right ear. Whenever I hear things through my right ear, it's always higher vibrational guides, uh, ascended masters, angels, archangels, goddess, um, always in my right ear. And my left ear is guides that are closer to you lot, closer to me, uh, more your personal guides when I'm doing readings and my personal guides when I'm just sitting here in my own little world. Okay, so we're getting Fleetwood Mac and we're getting Rhiannon. Okay, now the reason why we're getting that song is because this is your energy coming forward. Really strong energy. Um, beautiful, beautiful song. Again, very strong influence of Goddess coming up over here with you all. So you guys are very mystical you're most likely high priestesses empresses a lot of you never sexually orientated or gender specific but if we're working with tarot those two cards are more divine feminine energies okay so you've got this very strong power within you this very strong influence of this kind of magical energy around you and you're moving forward and it's really interesting that this is before Beltane just before Beltane comes in on Saturday uh, the start of spring between Beltane and uh, solstice is my favorite time of year i love this time of year um but what spirit are saying what the goddess is saying is that you are in your power at this time of year okay and this is where this kind of meeting of your energies is kind of come forward okay so can you tell me what is going to happen between debt number one and their people the next time that they meet i actually have this uh this picture as a bit of wall art i've got it as art i forgot i had that <laughs> and the next card that came out just kind of talking about the energy we've just been talking about is the priestess energy so very much in this power energy with you guys rhiannon beautiful song okay what is going to happen with them and their person the next time they meet three good cards so far three out of three all positive or not so positive but that's okay depending on your way you're looking at it, your perspective okay i'm gonna get eight what's gonna happen with them and the person the next time they meet or see each other or communicate what is going to happen and one more so we have you in this power energy. We have you in this high priestess energy. We have you standing strong um, in this very divine energy at this moment in time. You are on top of your emotions. You are fully aware of how you are feeling, whether you're sad, happy, a bit run down. You are fully in awareness of your emotions and you're embracing them, okay? Now, especially with the full moon being in Scorpio this week, I know that there's been a lot of upturned emotions going on because the moon has been settling down and it's been stepping into Sagittarius. You guys are feeling a lot more on top of your game, a lot more in your power and you're quite glad to see the back of that full moon 
moon it was a bit of a hideous one so when it comes to you and your person this is something that has preceded time i don't know if you can see the spirals at the bottom spirals often standing for my pathway my beliefs of druidry okay the spiral symbolizes the past the present the future the mother the father the child the track the triads okay so you have this energy coming up with you guys that this is a very mystical relationship this is a very strong relationship that has had past lives together okay if you and your person have had a lot of karmic energy coming up around you it might be worth doing a karmic clearing on the energy that is residual between you both so anywhere where you've been kind of feeling a bit run down, things have been really heavy with you guys, uh, worth looking at maybe doing a past life reading and clearing the karma. I do do them if you need me, okay? But you can do it on you, but you can go on YouTube and see if you can find something for that. So short, sure, in short, you guys are in this very strong, powerful position. Spirit, I'm really muttering in my ear. You're in this very strong, powerful position. Things with you guys have been stuck in a bit of a cycle, you've been stuck in a bit of a loop, you've been going a bit backwards and forwards, unsure whether you're chasing your tail. Um, I just got, was it Adele, should I give up or should I just keep chasing pavements? You haven't known what to do about the situation. Now, it's really interesting that when you guys do meet, this is where the shift in energy will happen. So the reason why it's going to happen is because you guys are feeling more powerful. And when you do meet up or see each other or communicate, there is that shift. There is a rebalance of your energies. So your person, you might have felt that your person has been in control of this situation. As Beltane hits and the energy switches, you are the ones that are going to be in control of this situation. You are the ones that are creating the shift in it big changes, lots of things happening around you, lots of new opportunities coming your way and lots of stepping out of the old energy and into the new energy. Really strong shifts going on. Now, from your perspective, that is really good. We have the star card over here. This is talking about things heading in the right direction, the right pathway for you guys. Uh, often the star card will make me think of um, Israel and baby Jesus and following the star to get to where you want to go that is the kind of how i all often see the star and when it comes to you and your person with the star card over here that is suggesting that you guys are going to be heading in the direction that you want it to now there is a little bit of a twist here so it's really positive from your perspective from your perspective now when it comes to your person we've got a little bit of a wobble happening so over in your person's energy we have the eight of cups and the tower so your person uh, when you do meet up they're going to have a bit of a wake-up call they're going to have a little bit of a shock a shock to the system so where you've had this kind of energy of you not being in control suddenly you're turning the the tides you're turning the the wheel you're getting into control in the words of Khaleesi you're breaking the wheel okay you're you're standing in that power you're breaking the wheel and this is going to be what really gives your person a massive sense of confusion on what to actually do so your person is going to be hit by a tower it could be a big t tower it could be a little t tower big t tower standing for big trauma big little t tower could be anything from you saying something that's going to upset them uh to confusing them or you know just little towers big towers little towers there is a tower that is going to be hitting your person and spirit is saying it is an emotional tower so with the eight of cups kind of going on over here this is signifying rather than them stepping away from the situation with you this is signifying that stuff that has happened in the past where perhaps they have took a step back they're going to realize that they made a big mess up with it and the this is why the tower is so emotional really strong emotional tower coming up realizing that they've made some really big mistakes and worrying can they set this right and the reason again why they're going to be feeling this is because you are in this very strong priestess power and you are in control and you are letting the situation come to you rather than chasing it so your person you get into your power when you see them your person has a wake-up call realizing that they haven't done this right that they haven't handled the situation right and has these emotional towers hitting around them from there, they can see that there is a upturn in the energy. So we're going from a six to an eight, shifting, stability, all to do with stability, security, tower's gonna hit. They're gonna realize what energy they've kind of brought to the forefront, how they've handled the situation. And they're gonna start making more of an effort with you. It's slow movement, it's steady movement, but there is more of an effort being put into this. 
if you guys keep staying in that power, that power energy is going to be what changes the dynamic of this connection between the two of you. And if you can take one thing from this reading, that is the statement you need to take. OK, so your power will change the dynamic of this situation. They will start opening up to you about their emotions. They will start opening up to you about their how they're feeling. With this tower energy over here, they're probably going to talk to you about why they are experiencing this. Um, potentially, I don't feel a lot of you will get an apology if they've acted a bit like an idiot. Don't feel that, but what they will do is try and brush it under the carpet and soften it, soften any kind of damage that they might have done damage kind of collateral damage is what spirit are saying uh soften any collateral damage that they might have done okay big shake up is going to be happening with them let me just try and find out a little bit more about this tower um your collective energy on it all is going to be variant on on what happens in uh, your connection with them but let's see if we can get a bit more on the tower what's going to cause this tower other than the shifting in power What's going to cause the shifting in power? What's the tower? Okay. Yeah. So it's going to be a panic. There's a massive panic that's going to be happening around them. They are going to panic that they are losing you, that perhaps they've lost you, that again, that they maybe didn't handle the situation very well with you, that they acted like an idiot. And then seeing you in this power energy is going to be what creates this overall uh, when they see you in this power energy, it's going to be what creates this panic within them. So panicking energy coming forward. A, I need to sort the situation out because I've been an idiot. I've trapped myself with it um, and I want the situation to move forward. And it's immediate action stepping in. Immediate action from this tower coming towards you. So you've got this very deep dynamic with you all where things are shifting and things are changing. You keep standing in your power. You've got this. Uh, your person is going to up their game with you. Um, it's got to go a little bit, bit peak tongue and their emotions for them to up their game with you. But, you know, don't suffer fools gladly. If they start to be nasty to you or anything like that, just cut them off for the time being. They'll still come back to you. Um, you are the ones that are in control of this. So when you next meet them or see them or communicate with them, remember that you are the high priestess. You are the ones that are in control. And when you do that, this connection will shift more into your favour. There's nowhere for them to hide. They're going to be hit by this massive thunderbolt of realisation that they love you, that they have these feelings for you and that they want things to work out with you guys. And this is where the six steps to the eight, you know, big shifts, big changes, things moving, no longer lingering on past energies, moving forward into much more positive energies. Divine connections, again, like I said, it's connections that has been there through time, been here through, been there through history and that is building and that building up brings the energy towards you so yeah for them for you it's really positive for them it's going to be a little bit difficult but you'll get what you want at the end of it keep putting your best foot forward spirit is saying keep moving yourself forward and remember that Rhiannon song if you're feeling a little bit wobbly or you're feeling a little bit low blast that Rhiannon Fleetwood Mac out get into that power energy you rule your life like a bird in flight remember that your power, your power is where the situation will turn into your favour. And that is deck number one. Okay, my lovelies, if you need me, just drop me a message. All the details are in the comments, uh, Instagram on there, Facebook on there. Um, emails always obviously the best way to get hold of me. I'm always on my email, best way to reach out to me. But if you need me, just give me a shout. Uh, website's up and running as well. If you wanna see any of the services that offer all the different types of readings that I do, Okay, my loves, I will speak to you all super soon. Lots of goddess blessings your way. Stay safe, angels. Okay, beauties, deck number two. So we're going to be looking at what is going to happen the next time you and your person meet, see, or communicate with each other. Going into the future energy of you all and pulling out the strongest energy uh, to see what your collective energy is on it. Okay, let's go. Can you get me in deck number two's energy? Think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes, and or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of everybody watching? Let's have that mutual energy between you all. And let's see what's going down. Raising the vibration up. Um, as I said at the start, if you've just skipped forward to deck number two, this was a request that came through on Instagram. So if you do have any ideas or requests, just find me on Instagram and write on one of the 
the um, video comments or one of the posts that I've put up. Doorbell, two sacks. Always the way when you start reading and you work from home, the door goes. So let's go. Um, what is going to happen with them and the person the next time that they meet, see or communicate with one another? What happens next? Whee! Ooh, good, it's good. What happens next and next time you guys communicate? I don't know if you've ever seen this deck before. I did a competition a few months back. I had two copies of this. Um, so I did a deck uh, a competition for someone to win it. Um, and this is a beautiful, beautiful deck and it's based on Janet's dreams that she had. And I remember her telling me that she wrote it um, drew it over 10 years for her to get all of this into place. But it's such a beautiful deck, um, full of lots of creativity and colours and all coming from her dreams. A very, very kind of magical, mystical deck, hence why it's called Mystical Dream. So you and your person. Now we've got a bit of a sense of confusion happening with deck number two. You guys are feeling rather like you've got a little bit of whiplash with regard to the situation. You feel like your head's been in a bit of a vice. Potentially you lot have had a few migraines or really bad headaches. Um, and a lot of it's kind of come from the stress of the situation with you and your person. You haven't known what you're doing, what direction this is going in. Is it actually going anywhere? Is it just sex? Is it something more than sex? Is it friends with benefits? Is it we're going to be living happily forever, ever? after with our five kids and white picket fence you've had this massive sense of confusion coming up with the situation your person has been giving you a bunch of mixed messages and you guys like i said feel like you've got a bit of whiplash you don't know what pathway or direction you're going down so the first thing that's kind of coming up between the two of you is this very strong wand energy this very strong chemistry, connection, bond between the two of you. There's a very strong passionate uh, engagement spirit, I'm saying, very passionate engagement between you guys. Sometimes this can lead to a little bit of toxicity between you both. So you have this very strong chemistry and when you have a very strong chemistry, often it can lead to more emotional turmoil because you two are like chalk and cheese. It's like a hurricane and a tornado and sometimes it can lead to these eruptions between you guys. And this is why, partially why, your person goes a little bit backwards and forwards in their mind over it all the chemistry draws them towards you and pulls you guys together and then when things go a little bit wrong or they don't really know how to handle it they withdraw or they back away or you have an explosion so you have this very strong power energy you're a power couple very fiery energy you know the fire in tarot um and in, in elements always stands for kind of the creativity and the passion. And that is what you guys have. You guys are kind of creating your future, creating the pathways you want to go down. Do be aware of any thoughts that are coming into your mind because you are manifesting at a really rapid rate here. So remember, it only takes 17 seconds for a thought to come into our reality. 17 seconds, whether it's a positive thought or a negative thought, 17 seconds for a thought to come into reality. And if you're holding on to something a bit negative and that is spiraling um, and you find you're going on this downhill loop and downhill cycle on it, you really need to break the momentum. Okay, best way of breaking momentum on a negative thought, having a snooze, going to have a nap, or just breaking the chain by doing something that you enjoy. Okay, do remember that. So if you feel like you and your person, you're starting to spiral on a more negative side of things, take a step back, get out of your own way and try and shift your frequency by doing something you enjoy. It's not about um, changing your mind frame on it, it's about changing your vibration. Okay, just being aware, having awareness of this. So what happens when you guys next me you are still stuck in this little bit of a loop you are still stuck in a bit of a cycle with your person um there is a very strong spiritual connection with you guys over here you've got the moon and the sun uh moon being feminine sun being masculine again remember never sexually orientated or gender specific but there is a very strong spiritual bond between you guys you have the connection over here the yin and yang the light and dark the good and bad the right and wrong the duality and the balancing of your energies 
So when you next meet, even though you're still kind of going round in this cycle with your person, it's because it is a more divine connection and you have got this very strong chemistry between you both. There's going to be communication that happens with you guys. Your person, are they going to open up about their feelings towards you? perhaps in a way that shows with actions rather than words. So if you're expecting them to write you a love song, let's just got that song, I don't know who it was, I'm gonna write you a love song. If you're expecting them to write you a love song, it's probably not gonna happen, but what you will find of your person is they'll start doing little things for you. So do pay attention to their actions and not their words. If you haven't read a book called Five Love Languages, I do recommend that you read that. Um, that talks about how we love people in the way that we want to be loved and we don't love them in the way that they want to be loved very very good book if you want to work out your person's love language and how to communicate better with them okay very strong energy over here with your your feminine and your masculine merging your energies together so it's been a bit of a upturn road it's been a little bit of a confusing road you might have felt that you've been really really swamped with emotions um recently or in the not too distant past but at the same time of this even though you're feeling this kind of swamping of your emotions you are having a period of rebirth okay so you're going through a transformation with this connection you might be feeling that uh you've been caught okay that everything that you do I just got that song as well. Everything I do, I do it for you. That's how your energy has been. And you've been feeling that everything you've been doing, it's been like a bit of a slap in the face, that they haven't really given you what you want, that you've been kind of like the frog over here uh, with his kind of thunderbolts, having his ideas and inspiration. You've been having ideas and inspiration on this, but each time it's happened, you felt that you've been hit by this thunderbolt and being knocked down a peg or two. And this is why you've been swamped with these emotions. But you are going through this period of rebirth um a cycle a cycle okay we have strength kind of coming up over here there is a cycle going on between you guys august being highlighted as a really important month for breaking the cycle between you guys you're going to find that it's still going a little bit backwards and forwards um some of you are wondering is the situation going to rise from the dead and the answer is yes it will do there is shifting and there is movement coming towards you not that one coming towards you and your person there is movement and there is messages as well movement and messages coming in towards you so they are going to talk to you, they are going to communicate with you, um, but do be aware of the cycle continuing a little bit. So you're going to have shifts, you're going to have movement, you're going to have things coming around, but you've still got this cycle going on. Let's see how you can break the cycle, let's just see what comes up. Is there a way that deck number two can break the cycle with their piercing? So letting them come to you, remember the egg doesn't chase the sperm or the only person that you should chase after is the ice cream man. Okay. Shifting, moving, changing, letting them come to you. If you let them come to you, even though you're feeling a little bit stuck by this and feeling that you should be chasing them and putting in the effort, if you let them come to you, there is going to be a bit of a pause in it. You might feel like, oh my God, what's going to happen? They're just going to back away. But the less you chase them, the less you give them, the more you're going to get from them. It's not counterproductive. You might think it is, but it isn't. You've got them thinking it through, taking a leap and moving towards you. And with that, you've got the four of ones at the end, okay? So by taking a little bit of a step back emotionally, physically, uh, however you want to perceive it, you will gain that power. And through gaining that power, that is going to make them chase you more. OK, um, like I said, at the moment, you're feeling like you've just been everything you've been doing. You've been feeling that you've been getting burned. So perhaps it's time to change your tactics on it. They're not going to vanish. OK, so if you stop the communication with them and think, no, you know what? I'm backing off. I'll let them do the work. They're not going to vanish. They'll go quiet for a little while, potentially a week or two weeks. Won't really go beyond that. And that is when they'll start making more of an effort with you. And that is what will happen the next time you see me or communicate cycle still repeating to break that cycle like i said step out of your own way let them come to you and if you do that you can create this shift in energy and have this rebirth be aware of your thoughts okay you're manifesting rapidly manifest the positive manifest the communication and the talking with one another if you need a manifesting plan give me a shout all the details are on the website under services and that is deck number two okay my angels have a blessed week um 
a wonderful, wonderful Beltane. Uh, I love you all to pieces. I will speak to you super soon. Just drop me a message if you need me. Uh, tons of love from my heart to your house, from my house to your house. And I will speak to you soon. Goddess blessings, my loves.